For a long time, and with Bitcoin and Ethereum, computing power has been used to solve complex problems to validate tra transactions on a blockchain. But the Ethereum network here is changing with the hope that crypto can move away from those miners toward a community of validators to unlock puzzles and draw consensus on a blockchain by putting more assets at stake. As Ethereum.org puts it, miners prove they have assets at stake by putting up energy. But in proof of stake, validators stake capital or their own ether and with the hope that this will secure the network with more nodes and create a lower barrier to entry. And because of the lack of reliance on mining, a hope that energy use will also be more efficient, potentially cutting Ethereum's energy use by 99%. But there are misconceptions, according to the organization, and there's no promise that gas fees or costs tied to transactions will be lower or that those transactions will be faster. The chain will also not have downtime associated with the merge, but there are some exchanges that are limiting withdrawals and and deposits out of certain fears. Now, those fears include potential scammers or developers who try to create chains or forks that look like Ethereum that attract customer funds. But exchanges are also concerned about layer two trains, uh, chains and projects that are tied to Ethereum that could be impacted from the changes seen in the system. Then there's simply the great unknown, and that's any glitches that can come with a complicated upgrade, despite those years of anticipation and testing.